happen. Oh, dude, okay? stop being so violent. Why'd you kick me at all? You kissed me, remember? In the tent? And then at the movie theater, you held my hand. And now all day you've been... I just, I don't get this. I don't get you. Oh. I looked it up online. It's a really good college prep school. I mean, it's military, but I can see you getting into the whole G.I. Joe thing. And there's no girls, which is good. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> yes, for you. Yeah, for you. Do you want me to go? No, but I think you should. That's sweet. Him not wanting to go so that she didn't get more upset and her telling him to go because she knows it's good for him. He sold it? Yes. <laughs> Uh-oh, who bought it? Did his dad buy it? Or someone from the band? now and Carmen and Daphne are there and Rita said that if you turn herself in take me back to Jovi yeah for a few days but Rita's gonna call the judge and have you placed with her okay that's probably what she was trying to tell you last night you won't ever have to go to another foster home you can live at Girls United until you're 18 you know go to school get a diploma or you can become a social worker like you wanted and work with kids and I will see you all the time me and Rita and Daphne, we are your family. Spit in her face. Do you think she still want me after that? Oh, Rita's pretty tough. Well, I guarantee she's took worse. Oh, she seemed pretty hurt. She seemed pretty hurt when she did that. Every time they move me to a new foster house, they take my stuff away or they make me leave it behind. I ain't doing that again. Nobody ever bought me nice things. He only did that so, so you'd sell yourself. I'm with you. Callie. No, I'm not letting you go there alone. Oh, God. Callie, you I promised you wouldn't go. Here, I mean it. Wait here. But then I figured, why waste the postage, right? I know your address, Dad. <sighs> I thought they shipped to the website. I, you can't afford this. Hey. It's an investment, right? I mean, this value's just gonna keep going up, and this way it stays in the family. I don't know, Brandon, I just thought maybe one day you'll regret it, and then, wow, you can buy back from me for more than I paid. Think of it as uh, a loan with collateral. <laughs> Thanks, Ted. Uh-oh. Shit. I called him. Why? I'm sorry. No, Kiara, no. Let go of me. No, I'm not. You're just scared, Kiara. You don't, don't. want to mess with him. I'm not going to let you do this. I'm not. get yourself beat the hell up. Kelly, just let me go. What's going on? How did they know? I couldn't let you go back there. I'm sorry. Please, don't give up on yourself. I was afraid because I lied again and because I didn't come to you again and because I messed up again. I thought that maybe that would mean that you, you wouldn't want me anymore. Like you would just finally give up on me. Okay, and is this why you're going to live with Robert? I just thought that if I left on my own, it wouldn't hurt as much as if you told me to go, but it does. Okay, listen. It hurts so much. Dad, look at me. Nothing you can do is going to make us not want you. You hear me? Nothing. Nothing, baby. Nothing. Come here. Come here. I would give up the tour. Then just about anything else for you to be a part of this family. Don't you get that by now? <laughs> I just... 
And what she had told them before. I know. I know what you did. Callie told us everything. And if you ever tell her to lie to us again, I swear. Look, I was just doing what I thought was best for my daughter. Your daughter? Yes, my daughter. It's over. All right, the judge has decided. We'll see about that. You're wasting your time, Steph. You're too late. Well, I'm not going down without a fight. Okay, guys, so that is the end of episode 18, and there's not a whole lot to really say. Um, I enjoyed this episode. I'm glad that uh, they got Kiara. I hope things work out. I hope she gets to go to Girls United. Um, I'm kind of scared that the pimp is going to come after her and hurt her or worse or um, anybody else that may be in the way, like Rita. Um, Jude and Connor finally had um, their moment, I guess, a little bit. Um, apparently, the whole thing about the tent um, was a lie. They said that they snuck some girls in and made out, but they actually kissed. And um, I'm glad that Jude stopped like being sort of led on, like he said, because Connor kissed him and they held he uh, held pinkies <laughs> at the movies and he's still like all over this other girl and um, just kind of pushing Jude aside. And I'm glad that he said something and then they kissed in his room. And I hope that it's not going to be Connor ignoring it again um, and pretending it didn't happen uh, because Jude didn't, doesn't deserve that. And I know Connor's probably scared, um, not just, not just of his dad, because I really don't, I don't know, just judging from what I've seen of his dad, I don't think his dad would be okay with him being um, gay or bi. I mean, I don't know if he likes girls too as equally as much as he likes boys. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, so I think he's just scared to be him, you know, be himself, like who he likes. Um, so I don't know. Hopefully they can figure this out and everything will be good. I doubt that, but that's my hope. Um, I thought it was really sweet. And uh, yeah, I just hope Jude or Connor don't get hurt in this. Uh, so I don't know what to, what to see how this uh, relationship progresses. So, um Callie finally came clean to Steph about what happened. And Steph, of course, being Steph, went and yelled at Robert. That doesn't help anything. Um, I think she did it. I think she yelled at him because she thinks that he was manipulating the situation. I don't really think he was manipulating the situation. I could be completely wrong. I think that when he gave her that advice, he was really trying to give her advice like you know he didn't want her to feel responsible if Steph like lost her job or something trying to help Callie out of the mess that she was in I don't know I could be completely wrong maybe he was being super manipulative but I I didn't see it that way um so I don't know what's going to happen but now that we know hopefully they can figure things out and uh Hopefully she doesn't get in trouble for her part. I mean, that could come out now. Um, it might have to in order for her to explain to the judge why she chose Robert instead of choosing Steph and Lena, who she really wants to be with. I have I have no idea what's going to happen. Um, I get this weird vibe every time I see Lena and um, the principal. I don't know her name see them together. I don't know why. Ever since she started there, I've had this weird feeling when they're together. And I wouldn't and I wouldn't think Lena a cheater, but I don't know. I just feel I don't I don't think Lena would cheat, but I don't know if she would be tempted. 
you know, I, I have no idea, but I don't know. I get a weird vibe between the two of them when they're together. So I don't know. Maybe I just see relationships everywhere because I also get a weird vibe in another show, which I'll talk about when I react to it, if I remember to say anything about it. But um, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, guys. But this one made me tear up again when Callie broke down in front of Steph. So, yeah, I got a little teary-eyed. But um, everything's good. So, we'll see what happens. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please give this video a like. If you have any suggestions on anything you'd like me to react to, please leave that down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.